Hello fellow YouTubers. My name is Ron. This is my first video. I've uh, decided to start doing book reviews because I read a lot and I figure you people want to hear about the weird stuff that I read about because a lot of you are unwilling to read it a lot of the time. So uh, just a little introduction. I used to do videos with Hannah, also known as Craving Books. Uh, she still has one video up and for some of you, I'm, I'm sure you'll remember, we used to do a thing called Fucked Up Buddy Reads. They were a lot of fun, and Hannah, if you're watching these, I would love to do them with you again. Uh, hopefully, we can start. Uh, people of YouTube, if you want to see more of those, if you remember them and you liked them, or if you just want to watch them because Hannah and I have pretty much identically the same taste of books, then go and harass her comments sections. Let her know. Um, otherwise, just so you're aware, uh, I will be doing a lot of kind of the stuff that Hannah does, maybe a little bit different, because we do read slightly different books. Uh, I read a lot of Japanese lit, a lot of like the obscure contemporary stuff. Uh, I read a lot of postmodernism, unreliable narrators. Uh, I really like contemporary American literature. I like surrealist French erotica. I, I read across the board. Um, Small publishers are really prominent to me, so a lot of these books people may never have heard of because I don't tend to pick off of like Oprah's list or anything like that. If uh, if any of you don't like controversial novels or have a you know don't like hearing about things that are maybe unfavorable towards you know I'm I like to think I'm a bit of a humanist, but I've got no problem reading about things that are racist, sexist, you know, disturbing, pedophilia, incest. It, it really doesn't bother me, so maybe I'm a little bit too desensitized now. It kind of scares me sometimes. Uh, otherwise, if that stuff isn't for you, then these probably aren't your videos, but check it out anyways. Uh, I will be drinking tea during these videos. Just if you, any of you are wondering. Um, so the first book I'm going to review is a book called Secret Rendezvous. Now this book here was crazy. I thought so. It's written by a guy named Kobo Abe. He's dead now. He was a Japanese... He, he was one of like the leading Japanese contemporary fiction writers uh, at the time. He wrote several books, uh, lots of screenplays. He was a doctor. He never practiced as a doctor, but he is known as the Japanese Kafka. And he is very, very good. He's very surrealistic. Um, this book was surprisingly surrealistic. I've read Faces of Another by him as well, which was also fantastic, but not nearly as surrealistic as this one. Uh, I won't give away too much about the books, but if if you like, if you want to get into Japanese fiction, he's a really good place to start. Um, one thing I really liked about like like about his writing is that he writes them, at least this one and Faces of Another, he writes them in, in like notebooks. So basically the main character is writing notebooks for other people and you're basically reading his notebooks. And that's how the chapters are separated as well. He tends to do a lot of surrealism, at least in this one, I, I mentioned that already. Uh, he also didn't name any characters in this book. Not even the main character was named. Uh, they were all named after mostly their professions, like the secretary or the assistant director or the girl from room three or there was one character named the horse. Uh, which was one of my favorites because he was a man who really thought that he was a horse and or wanted to be a horse and it, it just gets even weirder from there really it does uh, the main the main character even tells you at the beginning he's writing in first person and then he tells you that he is being told by the horse not to write in first person that he wants him to write it in third person so the rest of the book goes to third person but you notice every once in a while he makes a mistake and starts speaking in the first person again and then corrects himself, which I also really like that. It made it feel a little more real. Um, what else about this? A uh, little plot synopsis of it. He, uh, the, the narrator, basically him and his wife were sleeping, and 4 a.m. a ambulance comes to pick up his wife. And they're both saying that she is not sick, and the ambulance is saying, well, we wouldn't be here if she wasn't sick, so she must be sick. And they take her to the hospital. And then he doesn't hear anything from her again, so he goes to the hospital to find her. But he goes through like this weird, weird underground hospital that deals with sex and obscure 
places and like the hospital is just like this weird little world inside the city that nobody seems to have jurisdiction over and he becomes the he starts off as a janitor and then he becomes the head of security and so on and so forth uh, it, it's really odd it's really entrancing it's very I don't even know how to describe it it's like a maze it really is if, if this is the kind of thing that you like these kind of weird mazy sort of books where you feel like you're getting lost in the fun house then it is definitely for you definitely check it out Kobo Abe is fantastic and all of his books sound wonderful anyways thanks guys um, I hope you like the videos please like and comment and everything else it'll encourage me to make more if you like them if not then that's cool I'm probably gonna make more anyways until you all learn to love me anyways have a good one, guys. Talk to you later.